welcome. I'm glad you're here. I'm Monty McKinnon, and on this channel, we're building guitars. And today, I want to show you how we're going to put the purfling together that runs around the edge of the guitar and shows up a nice straight line all the way around the top and around the back of the guitar. I told you about that in a previous video, but today we're actually going to do it. If we have time, what I would like to do is take this mahogany and I would like to cut this because this is going to become the support pieces that we're going to put inside of our guitar. And this, we probably are going to have to rebend it a little bit, and I can show you how I'm going to do that. And that's going to become the patch that we're going to put up top for the sound port. So what do you say we spin the intro and we'll come right back and get to this. and I've got my merch mug and my t-shirt on. I always referred to this as merchandise. That's how old I am. I didn't realize it was now called merch. So I've got merch. There you go. If you're interested, there's a link down below. First thing you do is you cut a long piece of wax paper. When you have the wax paper, fold it, and then just set it over here. Remember this jig is simply run through a table saw where it has the saw part way through. It's down about a quarter of an inch or so. You need it to protrude a bit so that when you put the actual binding in, it will sit like this. And then when the clamp is on here, it will hold it all down in place. So, that's simply taking a, a piece of wood you buy at one of the lumber yards, run it through your table saw with a fence, bring it close by the edge, and you're good to go. If it doesn't work, cut it off, make one a little less steep until you get it exactly the way you want it. So now the wax paper is in the slot that we made on the table saw. Now I'm taking the purfling and I'm putting it down. The most difficult part of this whole process is getting glue onto here. And now I just leave it here to dry. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the guitar out of the form so that it's handy. I'm going to work on it right here and I'm going to measure for the bracing that we're going to cut on the bandsaw and then we'll bring it back and I'll glue a piece or two in place and you'll see that and then I'll end up bending this to make it fit the body. So let's do that right now. So there is our guitar. Because the grain is running this way, and we got figure coming this way, I really think it's important for us to take and put some pieces in the side here for reinforcing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark a couple of these. It is a good idea to cut these slightly oversized. So what I just finished doing here 
was I cut that round piece, cut off, this is the cut off piece. And what I have done is I have made a piece of veneer and I have cut it based on this paper pattern that I ran around inside the guitar. I then took the scissors, which was pretty funny, and I cut a shape and it's underneath, it's not glued in at this point. And then I bent the maple here on the bender just to shape it easily and to put it into place. We've got that in there drying. We've got the pieces of reinforcement here which need to be shaped and glued into place. I'll do that. And then we're done with this. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so and ring the bell. It's down one of these sides here. And uh, thank you very much. And that's it for me today. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video.